now i'm going to talk about the another sums and board now the question number 3.7 so question is that define conductivity and molar conductivity for the solution of an electrolyte discuss their variation with the concentration dear students in first part we have also studied about the conductivity definition you have also written in your homework so hope that you understand that thing so conductivity and molar conductivity okay so what is conductivity so conductivity is nothing but the, the material which allow to conduct the electricity is known as the conductivity it is, it is inverse of the resistivity okay and uh, its unit is simian molar conductivity conductivity which depends on the ions ionic conductivity which depends on the concentration and such a conductivity is known as molar conductivity its symbol is lambda m and it is unit is cmn per centimeter inverse per mole inverse okay so that was our topic so these two things is should be in your homework and now what is next thing is the discussion on the where with the concentration and that we are going to do in the solution dear students check out this solution see conductivity already done molar conductivity already done okay now we are going to check about the variation and variation can be defined like this variation with the concentration both conductivity and molar conductivity change with the concentration of electrolytes we have studied that so first point you have to write conductivity always decrease with the decrease in concentration okay both for weak electrolyte and strong electrolyte that is the second point third point this can be explained by the fact that the number of ions per unit volume that carry the current in a solution decrease on dilution because the conductivity is done by the ions and that's why if you dilute it the concentration will decrease and that's why the ions decrease and ion decrease means conductivity decrease the conductivity of the solution at any given concentration is the conductance of unit volume of solution kept between two platinum electrode with the unit area of cross section okay and at a distance of unity unit length molar conductivity of solution at a given concentration is the conductance of volume v that was the talk talk about the conductivity here we are talking about the molar conductivity which depends on the volume now here molar conductivity kappa a by l in place of a we will put one, v and in place of l is equals to 1 then lambda m is equals to kappa into v that means now volume increase molar conductivity increase so in case of uh, molar conductivity with the dilution molar conductivity should be increased and that is written here now if we talk about uh, strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte so in both the case molar conductivity increase but in case of the which strong electrolyte rather in case of the weak electrolyte molar conductivity increase more than that of the so this you can read and then after perform for your writing so hope that you understand this topic and will very nicely write from this what i have written so this is the question number 6.7 and hope that it is completed now we are entering the next question and next question is also very interesting and this is belongs to which what is written in the question first so three point question is eight is question like this the conductivity of 0.20 mole solution molar solution of kcl at 298 kelvin temperature is 0.0248 cmn centimeter inverse per mole inverse okay calculate its molar conductivity so we have to calculate here molar conductivity so how we can perform this molar conductivity that we are going to study just now okay see here which two values are given first one we are provided here you can check out that concentration is given we are given here concentration and here conductivity is given 
okay and we have to find molar conductivity conductivity is given and uh, concentration is given so very simple formula molar conductivity is equals to conduct conductivity divided by concentration and put this formula and get the answer very simple so this this is the solution for this so hope you understand this solution very simple solution is there and there you can understand so solution molar conductivity lambda m is kappa that is the conductivity of one concentration and to convert you need thousand is multiply and the 124 siemens centimeter minus 2 and mole inverse is the answer so hope that you understand 3.8 question very simple question very simple formula is used here now we will we are going to talk about the question 3.9 now here is the long question the resistance of a conductivity of conductivity cell contain 0.0 m kcl solution see here resistivity and uh, also we are given the concentration concentration is 0.00 m molar temperature is given to 98 and resistance is given 1500 what is the cell constant if conductivity of the 0.01 that is the same concentration conductivity is also given and uh, you are asked uh, or resistance also given and you are asked the cell constant to find what is cell constant now cell constant is g star and uh, you have formula for the g star yes the formula for the g star is nothing but the uh, kappa is equal to g star upon r was the formula and put this in this case so that will be the very simple and very interesting and so easy solution is there so check out this solution kappa is equal to g star upon r kappa is conductivity g star is cell constant and r is the resistance all values are given make the subject to g star kappa into r and the final answer will be there so this is the very simple answers now we are entering the next question and that next question is slightly dangerous question so come on what is written here in the question too much long question okay so here it is the 3.10 the conductivity of solution sodium chloride at 298 kelvin has been determined at the different concentration as a result are given below so one table is given concentration when 0 0.01 conductivity is 1.237 concentration is increased slightly 0 0.01 conductivity is 11 so as we are increasing the concentration here you can check out the value of uh, concentration are increased out as same the value of conductivity also increase out so this is our idea to talk about the conductivity relation okay so that is nothing but the very simple log logical question now here question calculate lambda m for all concentration and draw up plot between a graph between lambda and c half find the value of this so first of all we will make some table for it okay then by adding this table we will make something else okay so first we have to make table so here i am making table for you and for that purpose we need this so here is the table in table i have written here concentration see this is the concentration onward given these are concentration and that i have taken here concentration okay here conductivity is given and the conductivity is multiplied by 10 raised to minus 2 and that's why i have taken directly this with question so here now we have to plot graph of lambda m again c half so first we have to calculate the c half c half means c raised to half means square root of c so now how will you find the square root of c so that's why calculation is done here square root of c means uh, first uh, concentration means first concentration is what 0 0.01 so i have taken square root of 0 0.01 you also do in your calculator so answer is 0 0.0316 so here all concentration are taken here see badda badda na square root value ya mukela che you can check out that in your calculator then after lambda m so lambda m can be determined by the conductivity divided by c into 10 raised to 3 okay so lambda m conductivity this is the conductivity value 
okay one i have taken so this is the conductivity value i have taken you got the idea okay then after concentration